Uh, my name is Lucy Stone and I'm studying media communications by distance. I decided to study by distance because I wanted to stay in my rural regional area and stay with my family and friends, work and work with my horses as well. So because I'm a classical dressage trainer as well as student. I've been writing for about 10 years and mostly speculative fiction, so science fiction, fantasy, everything in that vein basically. Um, I have really enjoy writing and I've always wanted to be a professional writer, but it's a long process. Communications degree fits in with that primarily because it gives me a really broad base of skills and experience to go into the writing industry in all different avenues. So not just limiting myself to one particular focus, for instance journalism, but able to go in from any different area. The challenges of being a distance student involve being isolated, um, in, isolated from fellow students, isolated from your lecturers, isolated in the sense of you have to be self-disciplined, you cannot be motivated by other people's motivation, so you have to look after yourself and manage your priorities a lot more strictly than if you are on campus, totally focused on university. It has to be a juggling act between work, study, everything else in your life. Um, so that's so interesting, that's always a challenge. The other thing is simple things like not having reliable internet access, um, travel times to different places if you have to go somewhere for study, a lot of other different things like that. If you've got landline internet you're fine, but out here I don't, so with my internet I can either dash outside for a few hours and when the weather's nice and sit outside for and do my study and then go back inside. Otherwise I've got to sit there inside cursing and swearing at my laptop waiting for the modem to reconnect and then wander outside again. <laughs> to students who are hesitant to contact lecturers, I would say don't be. It's absolutely vital that you can email a lecturer or a support staff at CSU anytime and know that they will get back to you because they always do. And if you have that contact it makes you feel far less isolated and stops any frustrations of being stuck and alone looking at an assignment for instance not understanding it it makes it much easier and you know that you can just send an email or pick up the phone and your lecturer is there ready to help. The role of my family when it comes to study is being very supportive. Uh, my family's always been there, they've always encouraged me to study um, whether I wanted to go to university or whether I wanted to stay locally that was entirely up to me. Um, my, my father has studied through distance education, my sister has studied through distance education, so there's a lot of understanding and support for it and I can pick up the phone and say, oh I've got an assignment due in four hours, can I come around for dinner afterwards? And they go, yep, no worries, come over. <laughs> so it's really helpful. It's very good, it stops you from feeling alone. Motivating myself to study is force of habit. It's basically force of habit, setting up your calendar so you know you've got an assignment due at this date, you've got a module to read on this day, you've got to email your lecturer for about this upcoming topic. It is really about self-discipline and being prepared that you're going to sit down at the end of the day and after work and after chasing horses around paddocks or anything else and think, I really don't want to study right now, but I have to because there's an assignment due. So turn the brain on, make it work and just know that once an assignment's done, it's done and you'll have another one coming up, but it's just practice and habit. It's really just habit, yeah. My work life, I work shift work at the local petrol station and it means I get up at quarter to four in the morning every day. Um, I used to work full time and I decided to cut back to part time because juggling that, those peculiar hours and study and everything else was just getting too exhausting. So I cut back to what I could financially manage so that I could continue studying at the same time. Advice for newly enrolling students, um, I would say be prepared to feel isolated and be prepared to suddenly turn around and realise you do have an assignment due in four hours that you completely forgot about because everything else piled up on top of you. But don't panic. And I've always found my lecturers very supportive and very understanding of the, the challenges that distance education involve. So if I've hit a snag and I can't get an assignment due sent in on time, then my lecturers have always been very helpful, very supportive happy to give me extensions. All the things you normally stress about at university, they can feel harder when you're at distance education, but 
they're often not. They're just the same as if you're actually on campus. So it doesn't, it doesn't make life harder, it just makes it a little bit more interesting. <laughs> I also think that the way that Charles Sturt has set up their distance education is really good. And it's very clear, very supportive for students. The courses are well laid out and it's definitely something that's completely feasible and very enjoyable to do.